a new beast of a power supply has been born. We are talking of none other than the brand new Be Quiet Dark Power 14 in its 1200 watt version. This PSU meets the latest ATX 3.1 standard and boasts titanium efficiency. Furthermore, this power supply not only offers us enthusiasts the option of switching between semi-passive and active cooling, but also between a multi-rail and single-rail configuration. Plus, Be Quiet promises incredibly high quality throughout, inside and out. That's why the manufacturer most likely backs the product up with a 10-year warranty. Of course, that comes at a hefty price. The MSRP for the 1200 watt version is apparently set at 310 US dollars. This PSU is therefore undoubtedly aimed at the enthusiasts among us who are happy to spend quite a hefty sum of money on their PC's power supply. So what exactly can we expect? Included in the packaging is the Dark Power 14 itself all the cables, actually a lot of them, plus a power cord, cable ties and velcro straps, as well as screws, and finally a quick start guide. The first impression of the Dark Power 14 in terms of aesthetics and overall external build quality is truly top notch I'd say. Considering it's a 1200 watt unit, the length comes in at an above average 175 millimeters. This PSU is available in 1200 watt, 1000 and 850 watt models. Certified not only with 80 plus titanium, but also with cybernetics titanium. In fact, the manufacturer claims an efficiency rating of up to 95.57%. All the expected protections are on board and we are offered plenty of connectors. Part of the ATX 3.1 standard are, among other things, the quote-unquote improved or revised native 12V 2x6 connectors, the latest version of the 12V high power connector. The Dark Power 14 operates in multi-rail mode out of the box, meaning we have a total of 4 12V rails at our disposal, each with a current of 2x33A amps and 2x45A amps. A switch is located on the rear of the power supply. It allows us to convert the four 12 volt rails into one big single rail. For heavy overclocking and the like, a single rail does have its advantages. However, for most users, I'd recommend sticking to the multi rail mode to ensure maximum safety. Right next to it is the zero RPM switch, which enables either semi passive or active cooling. Basically, whether the fan should spin constantly or have it spin up only when active cooling is actually required. I think it's great that we are given the choice and we are not being forced into anything here. Behind the large mesh grill is the super quiet 140mm Silent Wings 4 fan sporting an FDB bearing. Obviously, Be Quiet has minimized the amount of obstacles here to allow for maximum airflow. As a matter of fact, there's a much more compelling reason for this with the Dark Power 14 because this PSU features a pretty beefy aluminum heatsink. The aforementioned Silent Wings 4 fan is practically built into that heatsink, the latter of which then makes contact with elements inside the power supply, thus assisting with heat dissipation. This is actually the first time I've seen such an implementation. Needless to say, we're talking of a fully modular unit. All cables are detachable. Furthermore, all cables are nicely braided and come in at decent lengths. We are getting the following power connectors. One 24 pin motherboard connector, one 8 pin CPU, one 4 plus 4 pin CPU, four PCIe 6 plus 2 pin, two 12 volt 2 times 6 with 600 watt ratings, 13 SATA and two Molex connectors. However, I find it a bit of a shame that we only get two Molex connectors, but I am aware that Molex is becoming significantly less relevant these days, so I do understand the choices made here. So what does the interior of such a Dark Power 14 look like? Disassembling the power supply is actually not hard at all. Again, here you can see the Silent Wings 4 fan and its aluminum heatsink. At this point, of course, 
I'd like to explicitly point out and warn you that opening up power supplies and touching any of the components inside can be fatal and life-threatening under certain circumstances. Well, as far as the platform is concerned, we are dealing with a full-bridged apology featuring a synchronous rectifier and LLC technology. This is intended to ensure high efficiency and signal stability. The platform is extremely clean and has the utmost minimum amount of cables, which creates the best conditions for optimal cooling. In terms of components, there are two electrolytic capacitors on the primary side rated at 420 volts and 680 microfarads. They are by the manufacturer Toshin Kogyo. On the secondary side and distributed throughout the platform, there are additional electrolytic as well as polymer capacitors by Nippon Chemican and Nichiken, if I'm not mistaken. All the capacitors used are 100% Japanese and are designed to withstand 105 degrees Celsius. In theory at least, nothing stands in way of high reliability and a long lifespan. Now, since my testing options are severely limited due to both my lack of proper equipment as well as expertise in this specific field, I have to stick to quick and dirty tests. My first test therefore relates to the measurable voltage of each rail. At idle with only minimal load, I was able to measure almost the ideal value for the 3.3 volt rail, while there are slight deviations on the 5 and 12 volt rails. These deviations go on even when the PSU is subjected to moderate load. However, we are still well within the tolerance limits and overall these results can be considered more than decent and safe. The Dark Power 14 also performs surprisingly well in my primitive efficiency test. The titanium rating sure does give us a noteworthy advantage, especially over gold certified units. Conclusion. The Be Quiet Dark Power 14 with a power output of 1200 watts leaves an excellent impression in every aspect. The overall quality seems to be of an exceptionally high standard. The power supply performs its duties in a whisper quiet manner and as far as I'm concerned, inaudibly, especially when in the semi-passive cooling mode. Although my testing options are very limited, I was still able to achieve extremely satisfactory results. The Japanese capacitors used, along with the modern, technology-rich and uncluttered platform, also impress. Finally, the 10-year warranty inspires great confidence and should be a sign of high reliability. Of course, that comes at its price. The MSRP of $310 for today's 1200 watt version isn't exactly low, and so this unit is undoubtedly aimed at enthusiasts who primarily focus on quality. As far as I'm concerned, I can definitely recommend the Be Quiet Dark Power 14 power supply. For me, today's unit is undoubtedly a true highlight. But do you feel the same way, or would you rather spend less on a power supply? If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like but I'd also content myself with a dislike. With that said, thank you all for watching and until the next one.